So here's the majority of the um, suspension on, and uh, everything looks like it's lining up pretty good. Um, I'm still missing the two or three subframe bolts for that bushing right there. And uh, I had these outside, and of course it's been raining for the past couple of days, and it's starting to get a little rusty, so I'm going to have to put some oil on those. I ended up having to TIG weld these studs on uh, because um, they were just, they fit too loose in there. Well, the ones that I ordered before were really loose um, on the previous hubs that I had. Um, and so I, I, I ordered another set of hubs and they were still, these fit like perfect, but you're supposed to press them in and they didn't fit that way. So I put them in, bolted it in so it was tight, and then I just TIG welded it around the back. So that should hold it. Um, I did, I was going through my storage unit and I was going through all the boxes of, this is just one of the boxes. There's another box there with all kinds of stuff in it. And it's like, there's some stuff in here that I didn't even know I had like but i could really use like these things those are the cover plates for the interior and uh, just box uh, bags and bags of stuff that i have and like this thing which needs to be cleaned um you know for underneath the steering wheel need that and i'm hoping one of these here is for the um the door the gas door or the hatch this this guy right here hopefully uh, and then I got you know bags of bolts looks so oh, it looks like there's a uh, magnetic um, uh, drain plug that's cool and wiring harnesses for I don't know what more bags of stuff god there's just so much stuff I need to go through but I did find the right thread for the subframe bolts and this is it I'm not sure exactly what it is but it's huge so um, I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit more digging. I have all these bolts, but they're not the same except for this guy. But these two guys are the same. They're the um, the same thread pattern, same length and everything. But the ones that I need are just like little stubby ones. And so I need to find those before I can finish putting on the suspension. I still need to get this side in. Like I say, that other side's pretty much done. Um, I just need to get this done and then get the rear done. Um... And uh, hopefully I can bolt on some wheels. Have you ever had one of those days where just like nothing went right? Well, today was one of those days. And putting on this suspension and the subframe bolts that I finally found was the biggest pain I have ever had to deal with when putting together this vehicle or this car. Um, yeah, it was it was rough, man. Uh, I finally found all of the subframe bolts, and uh, so I, I put on this side um, on the back where that bushing was. Well, so I got it all put on, and then I started to put on this side, and then I remembered that on each side of the bushing there goes a big washer. Well, I had taken the washers with me to work to clean them up and paint them, and I left them over there. So I had to go back into town, which is about a 25-minute drive, uh, pick up the washers, and then uh, come back and take everything apart and put the washers on. So I put the washers on on this side and then started putting on this side. Well, um, in case you ever go through this, uh, one wash side of the washer has a bigger hole than the other. So uh, don't put the two big washers with the holes with the big holes on them, the washers with there, on that side. And then come to find out that you have the washers with the smaller holes on this side. So you got to take everything apart again. Yeah, so basically I started about noon putting together this stuff. And it's now 5.30. And I've finally got everything looks like put together on the front end. These are this or this right here. This part is the uh, clutch pedal and the cage. And what I did was I took it completely apart, took off all the bushings and nylon inserts, everything. And I uh, wire brushed it. And then um, this one I've given a coat of the rust reformer because this is actually, they just use uh, 
like a raw metal for the cage and uh, so it's really rusty I think it's, it's a little dry now but this is basically what it looks like on this side so I put the rust reformer on and uh, this side's already painted uh, uh, from the factory but uh, it's all scuffed up and scratched so um, I just used some of this stuff and I'm going to do the same thing to the uh, uh, the throttle cable and the brake pedal uh, or throttle throttle pedal and brake pedal that's what I'm trying to say and so we're just going to spray some of this stuff on any of the raw metal and what this does is it actually converts the rust into a paintable surface and uh, before I did this I actually used a wire brush and on the drill and cleaned up all the loose stuff and then after that before I painted it I um, uh, used some acetone and wiped it all down uh, so I'll let it dry and then after this dries then I'll just use the epoxy paint so I was able to come home after work and um, finish putting in this rear suspension um, I hooked up the e-brake lines, put the new rotors in, uh, the new brake pads, and uh, basically attached everything else on both sides. So uh, the only thing I got to do as far as the rear suspension goes is uh, clean up that rear sway bar, get some new bolts, and put that on. Uh, other than that, that's it for the rear suspension. Um, front suspension, like I say, is done. I did that on Sunday, oh, which is, again, a, the biggest pain in the ass, and I'm still not really done with it. I got a couple of bolts that I got to find uh, for the forks, and today, um, if I don't post it, I did clean up this um, pedal assembly with the clutch, brake, and, um, and throttle. I completely took them apart and uh, sprayed them or sprayed this area which is usually a raw steel with um, the rust converter and then put the epoxy paint over that over the whole thing and then put it back together cleaned it up and uh, I'm trying to do this really quick because it's already getting dark and I brought this in it's um, the, the master cylinder for the clutch with the um, blocks racing uh, billet aluminum base but when I put it in I noticed hold on, that when I put it in basically it was rubbing down on this corner right here so I'm either gonna have to either shave it I'm not sure how am I gonna do this um, because, you know, you can't really take too much off. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll take it apart and bolt it in and, and see how much I gotta take off. If not, I'm gonna have to figure something else out. So I haven't been doing much with the car since I put, uh, finished putting on that rear suspension. Um, so, uh, I decided to work on the pieces or like plates I guess um, for the uh, the radiator now before I, I was gonna need to um, attach or get welded on the bungs on the inlet and then the outlet for the, um, the radiator but I actually found um, a company that makes like a fitting that goes over this with the AN attachment on there already. So I'm going to go with those instead of welding on the bungs onto this radiator. And that way all I got to do is find somebody to weld on the bungs uh, for the valve cover. So what I needed to do with this was um, figure out a way to mount it and of course I had I'm I don't think I've gone over how I I was going to mount it but basically you know it goes where that area was right underneath here where I had smoothed out that um, that uh, radiator uh, support 
uh, the base or it's not even the, the support but it's like the lower area um, so uh, but you need to bolt it on basically to the sides now I just didn't want to put a bolt through that thin piece of sheet metal uh, because it it's, would be a little weak so what I did was I cut out a piece of aluminum from a bar like this and made this thing and basically what happens is you put this on the, the um, radiator support area and then this goes on the other side and kind of sandwiches it between the piece of metal and kind of gives it some stability and I made two of them one for here and one for the other side um, one thing that I did go over um, was the um, master cylinder for the clutch. Uh, the one that I bought is not going to work. Um, it just doesn't work at all, even if I grinded it. So this is a um, S2000 uh, clutch uh, a master cylinder. And um, this will work. And this is one I've had for a, a long time. And I was going to use it, but um, the... Uh, it, I had left it outside and the um, reservoir completely just disintegrated and when I was trying to take it apart to clean it and hopefully hoping that I could just buy the reservoir um, found that this was just completely shot it's rusted through and I'm not I don't trust it so I found them on eBay they're like uh, I think like 40 bucks so I was like alright I'll just buy another one and uh, so I'll just use the S2000 clutch Alright, so as I mentioned before, I made the brackets, or not the brackets, but these cover pieces that are threaded on the inside, right of that aluminum. And what I did was to kind of isolate it, was I just got a piece of uh, rubber radiator hose and I cut it and put it behind there, and, uh, and it's... It's solid in there, yeah, it feels, it, and it kind of dresses it up, looks a little nicer, um, only the more and more that I work on this fucking car, the more these little, I keep on hitting shit, and, oh, whatever, okay, I'll just touch it up, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, I did that, um, I gotta find a nut to put on the inside here. I already mounted a tire that I or a wheel that I had here that I've had for a long time. There are a couple of BBS 15-inch uh, wheels that I've had for uh, the tires are just dry rotted and everything. But I wanted to put it on tires to drop it so I could put it on the trailer and so I could take it to the storage unit. So. Um, um, the only thing I gotta do, like I say, is find a nut for that side, and then find the bolt that goes on this side. Because I just have that little short one that doesn't even go way through. So I gotta do that, and then this side is done too, so I can put a wheel on this side. Well, there it is. First time on four wheels after 10 years. Yeah, I, uh, I couldn't find the chuck to fill up the tires, so they're a little low right now, but, and they're, they're dirty as fuck. They've been sitting there for, for a long ass time. So, yeah, but there it is, and that's about, that's about where I would like it to sit, actually. You know, I don't want it, actually, I would like the back end a little bit higher, 
and the front end just a little bit lower. But I believe those are 15s, and that's what I'm looking for right now, or what I'm going to get as far as the wheel goes. So that's that's perfect. Um, like I say, I want to raise up the back end. I don't know, not much, like maybe a half inch, and then drop the front end about an inch. So this side looks pretty good too. Actually, this is like exactly where I would like it. So I would just um, lower that other side about an inch and then drop in and raise up that other side about a half inch. But yeah, this is like, like a milestone. You know, you've been working on a car for months and months. And it's finally on four wheels. I mean, they're crappy wheels, but... <laughs> They, I mean, it's this is the way it's going to look. It's I haven't gotten any um, any tracking number or anything on the hood or the tailgate, so I'm I'm going to call them tomorrow and see what's going on. And it's uh, one of those things where you've you've run out of money, so you know I can't get the windshield right now. And get all the other stuff that I need, like the brakes and all that other crap. So, until I get some money, this is the way it's going to be until spring, I guess. just saw I just got in the carbon fiber or carbon fiber uh, carbon Kevlar hatch or tailgate for the for the EG and the fuel pump cover um, originally this had like a black um, like a gel coat you know over the back and so you know I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually be putting on the plastic since all the other ones are gonna are not gonna be installed so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this the same color as the interior and exterior of the car um, so what I did was I just sanded it you know scuffed it and gave it a coat of primer um, I did find however I, I gave it a first coat and it started fishing really bad all along the whole thing and I had wiped it down with some alcohol and I'm not sure if the if they spray some sort of a, a wax or something like that uh, but um, um, yeah I, I, I've put three or four coats of the filler primer and it seems to be you know kind of fixing that problem so I'm gonna try and give it another coat of paint and see um, if that works oh and the trunk or the hood actually should be they're shipping it off today so it'll probably be another week before I get that in so hopefully I can get this on all right so yesterday I um, uh, sanded the back, as you just saw, and I painted the back of the Kevlar tailgate. And now I brought in my other one, 
and I took it apart and started putting all the stuff in. Now, in case you guys end up buying one of these from special carbon fiber, uh, there's a couple of things you might need to know. First off, since mine is a right-hand drive now, um, the latch for the to open the, the tailgate is going to be, of course, on the right-hand side. So instead of running it from right here out through here out to the front, um, I, of course, hooked it up to there and then ran it around this way out to this side. Um, this, the, even this hole right here, is is a bit larger than the one that's on the original, um, especially this one for some reason. And so I was going to get us like a thin piece of um, aluminum sheet or something like that, cut out the hole and put it on the inside and then rivet it in place so I can put this and that way it stays. Otherwise it's just gonna be coming in and out. Another difference uh, from uh, the a manufacturer's aspect uh, from the company itself is that they use quarter 20 um, threading on all of the uh, mounting areas instead of 10 millimeter so I wanted to change out all these bolts so I had to go get some quarter 20 bolts and even the mounting ones instead of 10 millimeter are quarter 20 and I didn't have enough so I'm going to have to go grab three more and um, another thing Oh, the this where you mount the lock locking mechanism um, is is further back towards the inside. So there's a kind of like a gap. You can see that right there. Uh, yeah, see there's a small gap. It doesn't lie flush with it. Um, if I wanted to fix it, I'd have to basically cut this whole thing out and move it in about an eighth of an inch and then re-glass it and all that other stuff, but I'm not going to go through, through all that. So yesterday, which was Sunday, um, I didn't get to work on the car because uh, I went out and did some stuff, uh, but uh, today, Monday, I brought this in, which is another tailgate that I had in storage, and after I had taken apart this guy... Um, some of the clips had broken on the inside um, because they were just, you know, they were, they were worn. And um, so I brought this guy in so I could take off some of the parts um, on this guy and, and put the other ones, put the, you know, the parts from this one onto the Kevlar one. Alright, so this is done. Oh, uh, looks like not... I didn't really screw, um, mess up the finish, but uh, could definitely use a coat of wax or something on there. It did come with, uh, there you can see it, that little blemish right there, but I can probably polish that out. But that, that came from, uh, I'm not sure if they did it when they made it or during shipping, but I did take out... Um, and I just lost one. <laughs> I'll find it. Uh, I got all these guys out, these clips. And you can see this one kind of fits really easy. So I'm going to take that out right away. But two of them fit in there nice. The other ones I'll probably have to glue in. And that's to hold in um, the lights for the uh, license plate. Um, I did pull these off of the other one and polish them up and clean them. But I ended up, one of these was, it broke right there. So I, I think I have more at the house. Uh, off the other one, I did take off, take apart this guy to get all the clips that I needed, and it looked like there was a mouse or something that had been living in there for quite a long time because I, I had to put a face mask and rubber gloves, all kinds of stuff to clean it out, and then um, so I got all the clips that I needed for this one here, and I ended up replacing. That clip that broke, the clips on top to hold this in, those had broken as well. Um, and uh, I put these guys on. The screws that I got were a little bit too long, so I had to cut them down and shave them. These are in, so when I get home, I can just bolt it in. And this is that little 
plate that I made on the inside and I just riveted it in to hold it on. And this is for the, um, uh, that goes up towards the front of the car to, uh, has the, the latch to uh, release this mechanism for the door, uh, for the glass. And usually it runs out of this side and then goes up to the front. But like I say, if, if I did it that way, We'll see and hopefully I do have enough because this cable alone if you get it for a right hand drive vehicle like from um, ICB Motorsports or whoever does JDM stuff it's like $300 just for this cable so yeah I'm not gonna do that so there it is had to do a little bit of work as far as um, uh, getting the lines even and making sure it was spaced good. But overall, it's um, the only thing I think I gotta, I gotta, still gotta either raise up the latch on the inside or something because it's really, it's quite, it's not quite catching in there or it's hitting somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to check. But uh, everything else closes on the sides. It's hitting the latches. Um, I'll just have to adjust this, either raise it up and push it back or something, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's on, and it matches really good with all of the other Kevlar stuff. And I uh, got a notification that hopefully tomorrow the hood will be in. So I can pop the hood on hopefully tomorrow if it comes in. Uh, it'll be ready to take on over to the storage unit and um, sit there until I can um, come up with the rest of the money to buy all the other stuff.